trying to do right now is just find a freaking good spot. Obviously, it's a Sunday. I'm down at the lake, so this is the start of the flipper series. So once I find a good spot, stay tuned, and then uh, we'll get into what I'm doing here real quick. You know, I'm taking a little bit of a detour today from fishing and getting this done real quick because it needs to get done. And that squeak in this car is going to drive me nuts, but I think I'm going to fix it. This is gonna kick off the Flipper Chronicles. So right now what I'm gonna do is show you what I got. Uh, it is a 2006 Ford Focus wagon. Yes, wagon, whatever. Uh, it is a brownish color. Was able to get it uh, off of my neighbor that really wanted to just get rid of it. Long story short, her husband did all the driving. He recently passed away about a year ago. They haven't really used the car. Nobody in her family wanted it. She wanted me to just sell it, but unfortunately that didn't happen because the homeowner association that I'm a part of, they really just, they wanted to just be idiots. So a little backstory or a little detour is that they basically tried to find me $100 for washing my car, the C63, in my own driveway. And you can see the car behind me. So they tried to like literally, you know, find me for that and so i told her that i didn't really you know because they they're under the impression that i'm running a business out of my house which is definitely not true all my cars i sell are at the dealership obviously uh that i have part ownership in or whatever and you know so we had to fight that send him a nasty letter back and we haven't heard anything since so what i told my neighbor was i would just cash her out for whatever i think i could get for the car uh, and then I'll figure it out from there. So this is it. Uh, this car I paid $9.50 plus taxes, which were about $64. Uh, so stay tuned to see what we're actually gonna get out of it. This will be the future and fishing will be in the past. So you'll see the fishing before you'll see this series kick off, but uh, I'm gonna put this down, kind of get it set up. I'm gonna take some pictures for resale so you guys can kind of see what angles I'd like to get. Gotta get that crazy crazy shot i don't know if we can see this hold on let me move this you gotta get that i don't care if it's a ford focus or not you gotta get them really cool car show shots it'll make appeal for the car it'll it'll just make it look more marketable and more sick so you know i like to get this angle kind of squat down try to get myself out of the way if possible was I just took different angles of the car uh, I like to get kind of like a car show look to it uh, just to make it more marketable or appealing or whatever I haven't done the inside pictures yet because I'm going fishing today and my stuff's in there you want it to be clean presentable on the inside what I did was just throw this into the car wash just to show you how easy it is I didn't film all that stuff because it's kind of boring but ran it through a touchless car wash literally went and sprayed the engine down which one of these videos i'll show you guys how to do you still want to be kind of careful doing that uh you know disclaimer if you do it by yourself and you're trying to there's plenty of videos and resources on youtube to learn how to do it you want the experience for the buyer like a lot of people always i don't know they always sidetrack they just want to throw it out there dirty and nasty but like on the flip side would you buy a dirty and nasty car no like that's gross you want that new car buying experience because no matter what this car is new to that person that's purchasing it. So you wanna create that same experience no matter what. So with my experiences in selling cars, the cleaner it is, the more presentable it's looking, you know, everything is great. Uh, this car has newer tires. I just put a newer battery in it. So like all that stuff means a lot when you go to resell something because somebody will go look at a car and it'll be trash and dirty and nasty. There'll be stuff stuck to the floor. They'll come look at your car and buy it just off of the cleansiness of it, even if it has a little bit more miles and things like that. So like, you know, that's a little pro tip for me. Make sure your stuff's clean. Everybody wants to have stuff that's clean. Everybody wants that. So with that being said, I'm going fishing now. Peace.